let's get into the show. That was a terry ga terrible Gary Vee impression, but I'll tell you what we're doing. I'm gonna take these here tires that you would have seen from yesterday down to the tire shop to get new tires. We've also got to go down to Mandra to get motorbike parts and got to go to the car shop to get more Hilux parts so we can hopefully put the motorbike up for sale um, maybe tomorrow. So yeah, Hilux, not so simple. I like having to run around and do errands all the time. One day I'll figure out a way to just enjoy life. Just like that, for the next stop, running more errands. Tool section. My arch nemesis. Not arch, I just tend to buy everything. What I'm looking for is one of them staple, sorry not staple, strap, stainless steel strap uh, fastener things. Oh, and they've got motorbike tire levers, are you kidding me? Motorbike tire levers. I can't believe that they've got those, that is very frustrating. I could still get them because I still need them. But the front tire is not as bad as the back tire. cable tie tooly things. Let's try the electrical section. See how we go there. Electrical section. Electri Ooh. Okay, so there's the cable ties. Where is the tool? Cable tie tensioning tool. Both heavy and light duty nylon. No good. Might grab these ones. Ten pack of big cable ties. The only question is where uh, where is a tensioning thing? Hmm. Well that'll do right now for bunnings. They didn't take too much of my money. I guess their pro lowest prices really are the beginning. So I've got all my parts here, boots for the CV joints, oil filter, the right one this time because they gave me the wrong one last time, and three cans of degreaser because that's how you get your car over the pits, is a lot of degreaser. So first up I'm just going to spin on the new oil filter, the right oil filter hopefully, might even, yeah no that's the right one, that's the right one. Um, so with that, you just want to put a, a bit of oil on the uh, seal there to help it seat down as you spin it on. And then we'll fill it up and that should be one more job done. So just spinning on the oil filter down here. With the oil filter you just want to do it up hand tight. Don't overcook it or anything like that because that seal will um, move and that wouldn't be ideal. Right. About that. Once you've got the oil filter on, just take off the, take out the oil, oil fill cap, and then uh, fill her up with oil till it's full on the dipstick. Uh, this car takes six liters of oil, so don't get a five liter tub and think that that'll be sufficient because you'll be short, and then you'll somehow need to get back to the shops. Now, I bought a 20 litre drum, that makes a real big mess, which isn't convenient. So I'll need more of those cans of degreaser, but I happen to have a spare 5 litre bottle laying around, so I'll just decant it into this. So just fill the uh, 
all jug up here. Um, I will use a funnel because otherwise it'll make a real mess. Well, it's mainly me that makes the mess a bit grubby. And we'll pour in the oil. With the engine oil, you'll um, fill it up. This, uh, as I said, this takes six liters. But once you put in six liters, you'll need to turn the car over, uh, run the oil through the uh, engine, fill the oil filter, that sort of thing, and then the oil level might drop. So you, once, so the tip there is, once you filled it up with oil, run the car, and then shut it down and check it again uh, after the first startup. You should always, well, you should regularly check your oil anyway. It's a pretty important thing. I've just seen a little bolt on the exhaust manifold that I haven't done up yet. It's in a real tricky dicky position. Let me show you where it is. So, we'll come down in here. And then, underneath all of that, down at the manifold there. See, that little guy just there. How on earth? It's gonna have to do that. Do it the hard way. That's why they call. That's why they make fun of me and call me the Bolt Man, because it needs Zen-like patience to do it up. Just getting Zen with this bolt. <sighs> oh no! Gah! So much patience right now. Well, just like that, I'm not going to be doing the um, CV joint boots today, so I'll probably make that an all-day event tomorrow. I've got to go pick up the tyres and pick up radiators and other parts from the motorcycle shop. So we'll go do that instead. So we got the fresh BF Goodrich tyres with the crazy side rookies. Fresh treads! Fresh treads. <laughs> 